I have an experiment for you. First, get inside. It's a marvelous game. Next, you're going to need someone who doesn't play games too often. I want you to sit them down in front of your PC or your console, your TV, whatever you have, and teach them the controls. You know, up, down, left, right, interact, jump, simple stuff. Give them a few words of encouragement and then tell them to go right. And I guarantee a few things are going to happen. First, the person playing is going to ask you a whole bunch of questions. Like, who is this mute child with the red shirt? What is he running from? Where is he going? What is this game even about? Second, they're going to get stuck right here. Third, they're going to die. And then they're going to die again. And then they might die again, but eventually they'll figure it out. Last, they're not going to be able to put the controller down. But let's delve a little deeper, shall we? Inside has a unique story in that by the end of the game, you'll probably have more questions about what's going on than solid answers. There isn't a tutorial. There aren't any spoken words throughout the whole game, but that doesn't mean a story isn't being told. To catch it, you have to pay attention to locations and objects in the fore and background and piece together what's taking place in the muted world. Since the story is passively told, any plot you come up with would be ambiguous. I highly suggest looking up videos on the explanation of Inside Story to see if you agree or disagree. But this is certainly one of those games where the story takes a backseat to the journey. Inside plays exactly like Play Dead's 2010 hit Limbo. You are the silent protagonist and you have to go right. However, it's not quite as simple as that. You have enemies to overcome and puzzles too. The puzzles don't require Einstein level intellect, but it is satisfying figuring out what you're supposed to do to get to the next area, especially since no clues are outright given to the player. If you want to survive, pay close attention to sounds, lights and color, and the camera angle. They are all used to give the player subtle hints for what to do next. Play Dead has mastered the craft of atmosphere like none other. They use dynamic sound design to enhance gameplay elements. During certain portions of the game, your young hero will automatically run faster, creep down to avoid detection, and stumble when jumping over objects. While that's happening, the sound effects will intensify or diminish in strength depending on what you're doing at the time. You'll be able to hear him breathing after running or gasping for air after being underwater for too long. These nuances give the game an extra layer of depth that propels this above a great number of other indie titles. If I had to describe Inside in two words, I'd say refined brilliance. The level of detail is clearly visible, the atmosphere is daunting yet intriguing, the gameplay is addictive, and the controls are simple enough that even a non-gamer can pick it up and want to progress until they finish. The only gripes I can think of for this game will be its length and ambiguous storyline. But those marks don't stop me from highly recommending this game to anyone with a next-gen system or PC.